Gymnastics. A graceful sport that puts a gymnast's strength, dexterity, and coordination skills to test. All for some jaw-dropping agile moves and breathtaking tumbles. Introduced in the early Greek civilization, the artistic sport has rolled over the centuries collecting a rich history. Gymnastics is derived from a Greek work gymnos which literally means to train naked and the men in the ancient Greek civilization indeed practiced their exercises in the gymnasium with no clothes on. Ancient Greece applied the term gymnastics to all the exercises that were performed in the gym. A few of these exercises were included in the Olympic Games until the games got abandoned in 393 CE. Later on, sports like field and track athletics, boxing, and wrestling, that were initially under gymnastics, received an identity as a separate sport. While the modern gymnastics includes several events, only two of these were known and performed in the ancient times. These two events were tumbling and a primeval form vaulting. A variety of ancient art gives us a glimpse of the ancient gymnastics, and these evidences can be found across the world. There are the Egyptian hieroglyphs that show different forms of backbends and other difficult antics being performed with a partner. Then, there is a famous fresco at the Palace of Knossos which is presumed to showcase a gymnast performing a cartwheel. Evidence of tumbling being performed as an ancient form of gymnastics can be found even in China. There are stone engravings from the Shandong province, dating back to the Han period 206 BCE to 220 CE, that show acrobatics being performed. The Middle Ages in Europe witnessed the continuation of tumbling being performed by traveling groups of thespians, acrobats, dancers, and jugglers. A 15th-century book by Arkanj Takaro, named Trois Dialogues du Seigneur Arkanj Takaro, first described the activity of tumbling and jumping in the West. Year by year, the tumbling and vaulting activities underwent reforms due to several cross-cultural influences. Eventually, all forms of acrobatics started getting performed at the circus. And, it was the circus acrobats who first introduced the use of trampolines to perform the gymnastics. Johann Christoph Friedrich Gutzmuths is lovingly called the grandfather of modern gymnastics. In his influential work, he visualized two main divisions of gymnastics, the natural gymnastics and the artificial gymnastics. These can also be considered as utilitarian and non-utilitarian gymnastics, wherein the former emphasizes on the health of the body while the later focuses on beauty and not on the function. For Henrik Ling is considered to be the prime developer of the natural gymnastics. He is the founder of the Royal Gymnastics Central Institute, a teacher training institute in Stockholm, established in 1813. Free calisthenics, which has now evolved as floor exercise, a gymnastic event, is credited to Per Henrik Ling. He designed these exercises for his students to medically benefit from them. The rapid spread of gymnastics is attributed to Friedrich Ludwig Jan, known as the father of gymnastics. He founded Turnverein, an association of gymnasts in 1811. However, even after the speedy growth of gymnastics, it took almost 70 more years for the International Federation of Gymnastics to be formed. It was founded in 1881 to supervise international competition. Gymnastics made its way back to the Olympic Games in 1896 and the FIG organized World Gymnastic Championships for men in 1903 and for women in 1934. From then on the graceful sport of gymnastics has been on a path of growth. Loved widely all across the world, the sport continues to evolve, and attain newer heights.